Our next guest is a prolific writer, legendary filmmaker, and Academy Award-nominated director of more than 70 features and documentaries. His memoir, Every Man for Himself and God Against All, is on sale now. Please welcome back to the show our friend, Werner Herzog. Welcome back, Werner. Thank you. I like to be back here. It is wonderful to have you here. I'm so enjoying reading uh, your memoir. But when you write a memoir, and I have a, a question uniquely for you, what is Werner Herzog's relationship with the truth? Well, uh, when you go uh, into the memoirs, you have to verify what's what happened. So, and some people are dazed and confused because I lived such a wild life for. Uh, as if I had lived five lives. So, but uh, I sent the manuscript to my brothers who are very critical and they said, yeah, okay, go ahead. And, and then people doubt, yeah, did he move a ship over a mountain? Yes, I did, it's documented. <laughs> did, did, did he hypnotize an entire cast? Yes, I did, it's, comp uh, it's all uh, in, in a way uh, verifiable. Or uh, for example, uh, there was doubt. I, staged an opera once in Italy, and I wanted to have some stage work of falling from high up and through the stage floor, and everybody's wondering what the hell happened here. So, and, and the theater wouldn't give me a stuntman, so I, I tested the stunt myself from something like, <laughs> something like 45 feet down into an air cushion. And so people say, oh, yeah, I made it up. No, I didn't. There are a series of photos, I can show them to you, uh, or whatever, I was, sh I was shot uh, during an interview. Uh, it sounds like, yes, he made it up. No, it's, it's caught on tape, it was a BBC interview. So you, you better be careful when you do something like that. If you write poetry, you just invent. If you write fiction, you invent completely. But here, of course, what is an inventive element is the style, the way I'm telling the story, the wild sort of content needs a certain style. And there is, of course, a lot of documentary evidence about the things you've done, either on film or just in photographs. You chose the photo for the cover of this book. This is you on the edge of a volcano. Right, and I had a protective suit. Yes, but I noticed you took off this protective part for the picture. Yeah, because... <laughs> It, it was at the end of it. I was with a volcanologist and the volcano was spitting out uh, uh, slabs of glowing hot sort of uh, lava and it came raining down. You better look up, yeah, where does it come? You don't duck, you have to look and step aside. So, and we were too close and all of a sudden some unexpected burst and, and it came raining down in some of these slabs uh, uh, or blobs, uh, thousand degrees Celsius, they come raining down. So you better run, you get out of there. Yeah. You, you have, and I don't mind to be a coward yes. in such a moment. But it did and seem I, in that moment you also said, should we get a picture? <laughs> um, I don't recall, but no, I, I never ask for a picture. I'm not so important. <laughs> The, the film is important, or the writing is important. But I had taken off my helmet because I was sweating and I had soot in my face somehow. And uh, actually, this photo was done by the volcanologist Clive Oppenheimer. He had his photo camera and he said, stand still, I take a few photos. And I, I kind of like the photos because my life has been on foot, uh, digging in the jungle and... Uh, and moving a ship and, and doing things like that. You talk about how, uh, and this is fascinating to me, you can see a whole film before you start writing it sometimes. Yes. And you talk about writing uh, Aguirre, uh, Wrath of God, yeah. who, which is this uh, movie, it's hard to imagine conceiving this whole story and sitting down to write it. But when I pictured where you wrote it, I yeah. would never have guessed it was where you said you wrote it in the book. Well, it was written in two and a half days. I saw an entire film and uh, I was on a bus with my soccer team and we went to Italy. We had two huge barrels of Bavarian beer for our hosts. We tried to make them drunk and win the game. So, but what happens, our team started to open a bottle, uh, a whole barrel 
and they were drunk within two hours. <laughs> and I was sitting at that time a little typewriter on my knees and writing the screenplay. And even my goalie leans over me and he says, what are you doing there? And vomits over my typewriter. <laughs> so what can you do? I threw out a few pages from the window and I forgot what was on it. <laughs> I forgot, so I had to type on and, and I, I wrote the screenplay. I don't need a, a quiet uh, island where I'm all alone and things are serene. I can write uh, on a playground for children who are throwing toys at each other and scream <laughs> and the dog is barking at me. It doesn't matter, I can write any place. You, um, you wrote something very funny in the book that I would really like you to do. Um, you, wrote, uh, you were talking about um, yeah. seeing the auctioneers at a livestock auction. And you wrote, I always wanted to direct a Hamlet and have all the parts played by ex-champion livestock auctioneers. <laughs> yeah. I wanted the performance to come in at under 14 minutes. Yes. <laughs> well, still, still unfinished project. <laughs> and, and you know, you know these uh, livestock auctioneers, they speak with a speed that is unimaginable. For me, the last poetry of, of capitalism, so to speak, and I really want anyone knows basically what's happening in Hamlet, and I want to bring it down under 14 minutes. Yeah. Unfinished business. There you go. Well, you have a lot. And I, I would like to, uh, uh, there's a, a film you did that last time you left, I, I so regretted, and I'm a fan of so many of your films, but Bad Lieutenant Portocol, New Orleans, you mentioned in the book as well. It is, again, of a, a career of fine performances. It might be my favorite Nicolas Cage performance, and you, uh, you concur. And uh, Nicolas Cage uh, <clears throat> had been interviewed about it. What is your favorite performance? And he says, there's one, Bad Lieutenant with me. And, and then there's nothing and nothing. And then comes the performance that won him the Academy Award, I think, Leaving Las Leaving Vegas. Leaving Las Vegas, yes. Yes, and uh, it was so wonderful to work with him. Such a, such a great, great actor. And I loved every minute with him, and, and it was wonderful. Well, it, I, it shows up on the <clears> screen. It is a fantastic book. It film. shows. Yes. Uh, it's a fantastic book, and I know you. you're as prolific a writer. You've, you've already written another book, which means you get to come back here again soon. Okay. Thank All right, you, thank you very much. Werner okay. Herzog, everybody. Every man for himself. And God Against All. Available wherever you buy your books.